Segmentation plays an important role in image assessment. Manual and semi-automated VOI definition approaches can be subjective and lack reproducibility. They can also be very time-consuming. Semi-automated methods that allow the user to carefully control the threshold were described in section 1. While these methods provide a more objective approach, they typically use a single time point or average image. The PMOD segmentation tool uses a licensed algorithm to directly analyze the dynamic PET or SPECT data and apply clustering based on voxels with similar kinetics. In small animal PET, particularly mouse whole body PET, this can be used for automated organ segmentation. In a final stage, the user assigns VOIs to the detected segments. In this exercise, automated organ segmentation will be performed for mouse dynamic FDG PET data. MR is available for anatomical reference. Open the Segment tool from the main PMOD toolbar. Select Mouse 8 External from the Bruker PCI database, then add both the MR Anatomy and Dynamic PET matched to MR to the selected for loading list. Open the images. Processing is performed on the next tab and its title changes depending on the workflow selected. The workflow itself is selected in the third step of the workflow. We will use the functional local means workflow. This workflow is divided into four pages. Pet loading, CT or MR anatomical reference loading, mask generation, and segment labeling. The pet image selected during DB load is automatically assigned to the pet page. On this page, an average is calculated from the dynamic pet, and then there is a fusion display of the dynamic and average images. The average will be used for masking if there is no CT or MR available or if it results in a better whole body mask than CT or MR. This could be due to bed hardware or artifacts. It can also be used while labeling identified segments later in the process. For masking, the PET average should result in an image with activity visible in the whole body. This would likely be an average of the first few minutes after injection or for segment identification, the average should result in an image with activity visible in the most interesting organs. For this example with FDG, an average between frames 4, 4 and 17 is useful for masking. And it can also be used for segment identification later in the process. The species should be automatically detected as mouse. And although we have the MR, the lack of signal in the chest area means that it's not ideal for masking. Change the masking method to PET and whole body. We can then proceed using the Add CT or MR workflow button. This takes us to the CT or MR page where we can verify the co-registration of the PET and MR before proceeding using the Create Pet Mask workflow button. On this next page, this, the resulting mask from the average pet is shown in red, overlaid on the pet. It can be compared to the average pet using the fusion functions and edited if necessary. For this example, the whole body pet method results in a good mask. 
The segmentation method is then chosen from the orange labeled menu panel and we will use functional local means. More information about these methods can be found in our online documentation. The algorithm considers the differences between FPP and iterative image reconstruction. Here we should select iterative. The half-life of the tracer is detected automatically for DICOM data from the database, but for other formats this may need to be checked. We can set the defaults for the segments and reduction. Again we have a button to set the defaults near to the workflow button. But change the smoothing to Invion to reflect the device that was used to acquire this data. The spatial resolution is considered in the segmentation algorithm. Proceed using the segmentation workflow button. On the segments page, we see a fusion of the MR anatomical reference and the segmentation result. The display of segments from the result is adjusted using the segment slider in the lower right. Start at the lowest complexity with the slider moved all of the way to the left. In this situation, only a whole body segment is shown in the image display. Now we can increase the slider, in this case by a single increment to the second segment. And then in this case, a new segment is shown that appears to correspond to the bladder. The MIP image can be used as a navigator. Clicking on the segment will take us to that segment in the orthogonal planes. And then we can triangulate the center before using the fusion controls to explore the, ana the anatomy in the MR image. Since the segment appears anatomically correct, we can assign a VOI to it. To do that, we can right-click on the segment in one of the planes in the image display. A VOI definition dialog appears in which standard organ names can be selected for each VOI. There is a dedicated set of names for small animal. Select bladder from the list and confirm using create replace. A VOI is created for the segment selected using the VOI definition from the dialog and a time activity curve preview can be seen on the right hand side. This process is then repeated iteratively. The slider is advanced, then new segments are investigated and labeled if anatomically meaningful. At segment level three, a segment for the heart is shown. Triangulate it, then label it as heart At segment level 6, the kidneys are shown. In order to label them correctly, we can zoom in and then use the fusion controls to compare the segments to the kidneys in the MRI. In this case, we can then label this segment as a kidney, creating the new VOI. And for the second kidney, after checking the localization, once we enter 
the VOI definition dialog, we can append the second kidney part of the VOI rather than creating a new VOI. Again, the time activity curve preview is shown on the right hand side. Note that a 3D whole body atlas can be loaded using a shortcut on the right lateral taskbar. It uses PMOD's 3D functionality to render VOIs for major organs. These VOIs can then be switched on and off to help understand the anatomy. Using the menu above the segment slider, the fusion display can be changed to show either the dynamic PET, the average PET, or the CT or MR, depending on what is loaded. Select the PET and select the final time frame. Use the fusion controls to compare the segments and the trace uptake in the PET. Bladder, heart and kidney segments compare very well. Next, we can continue to increase the complexity of the segment slider. At segment level 8, an additional segment is shown in the testes area. And if we compare that to the PET uptake, we see that it corresponds to an area of high uptake. And this is not expected in healthy animals. Therefore, we can label this segment and select tumor hotspot from the organ list. Additional VOIs can always be added using the standard VOI tools. And these additional VOIs can be based either on the PET or the MR. After de generating VOIs by following the segments or using the manual controls, we've already seen the preview of the time activity curves, but to generate the time activity curves for all of the VOIs, we can use the stats workflow button in the lower right. On the statistics tab, the time activity curves can be saved or sent to the kinetic modeling tool. Averages for defined time ranges can be calculated using the tools below the curve display. And the results can also be directly converted to SUV if the information required is in the image header. At the end of processing, we recommend saving the protocol. It can be stored in the database for easy retrieval, and then the analysis can be reproduced. It can also be used to reload the data and settings used before changing certain settings, like the smoothing and rerunning the processing.